The severe weather across much of this country, from Minnesota to Texas to the East Coast tonight, some powerful lightning and quick moving storms. And there was something else on the move, a giant mass of ice, a slow motion nightmare for one family. Listen to this. Oh my God, Nikki, look! Really incredible, the bank of ice inching toward this home, the family watching in horror. And this is where it ended up, ripping right into the back of the house. ABC meteorologist Ginger Z on all of the weather warnings tonight, but she begins with that family's nightmare. The ice, temperatures from near freezing earlier in the week, now about to hit 90. Michael, get away from it. It is ice creeping off of a lake in Minnesota right into Darla Johnson's home. It's pushing forward. Yeah. This is crazy. Strong winds push the melting ice from the lake first onto the yard. It's just pushing and pushing and pushing. Then right there, right up to the houses, crawling over the ground like something out of a sci-fi thriller. It's crawling up the walls of the houses. In some spots, that ice grows to three feet deep, forcing itself into the house. It sounds like a train. Damaging the walls and breaking the windows. And it's just the beginning of the big mountain in the Midwest. Look at these numbers. From 55 today to close to 90 degrees in Minneapolis by Tuesday. Chicago will even get well into the 80s. It's been a weekend of extremes in Houston, too. Severe thunderstorms shaking the camera there. Up to a half foot of rain surging through the sewer systems, this manhole cover jumping because of the air pressure. In South Texas, giant hail. And in Virginia, spectacular shots of a shelf cloud caused by a gust front out ahead of a thunderstorm. Wow, but that ice for that family only going to get worse with 90 degree temperatures. And you're also watching severe weather along the East Coast tonight? It has been a stormy one, not only just from Florida up through the Southeast, but all the way here in the Northeast in Mid-Atlantic. And that area that you see in red from New York City down to D.C. and Raleigh, still a couple of hours that we have to watch for damaging wind and the potential for hail as a couple cold fronts swing through. All right, tracking this tonight and straight through GMA in the morning. Ginger, thank you.